Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the data source. Uh, it's an interface which exists in Java java.x.sql package. If you press Ctrl Shift T and try to search for the data source which belongs to the Java java.x.sql, then I have attached source code and you can see this is the interface which extends common data source uh, interface and it, that also extends wrapper interface so most of the interface in uh, JDBC implements wrapper but uh, here this interface extends common data source and this interface is having only two overloaded method get connection a get connection which does not take any parameter and another get connection which takes database username and password as a parameter so basically in this video tutorial we'll discuss about this class is very important this interface is very important so when you want to take uh, i mean connection from the data source either without wave or application server or uh, using some uh, connection pool uh, mechanism if you want to uh, take connection from the data source uh, rather taking connection from the driver manager then this class is very important in that case so here i have opened oracle website oracle official official website and here uh, you can see uh, about this interface saying that in fact this interface is basically a factory for connections to the physical data source that uh, this data source object represents an alternative to the driver manager facility right if you want to if you, you don't want to take connection from the driver manager suppose if you have a web based application then you required a kind of connection pool right uh, you might get a concurrent request at a time right a lot of requests you will get at a time and if you have driver manager gives you the single connection at a time right and if you have a web based application suppose if you get the thousand requests at a time then you require a thousand physical database connection right so in that case you require a connection pool so and you can specify the connection uh, pool mean size max size in that way you will have a, a more than one connection at a time right and every request will have a, a individual a database connection and once every request is done with that connection then once you close the connection then that connection will return to the pool and that connection will be reused when you take connection from the driver manager and you close the connection then con connection gets destroyed and again you need to create a new connection so that's the difference between taking the connection from the driver manager as well as taking connection from the database using connection pool so let's go through this uh, java doc saying that a data source object is the preferred means of getting a connection an object that implements the data source interface will typically be registered with naming service based on the java naming directory and that is also called jndi right some people used to say jindi right so basically if you have a middle tire like if you have some kind of uh, wave application wave server like tomcat or you have a, some kind of application server like wave logic glassfish uh, ibm what what that server ibm WebSphere, then you can configure jndi I mean, Configuring JNDI means uh, information related to the database like database driver name, database URL, a, uh, database URL, username, password. These are the information basically you uh, configure on the server rather uh, hard coding into the source code. Right. So uh, in that case switching from one database to another database would be easier. Right. That is kind of loose coupling basically right so you will have to configure jndi that is nothing but that in naming service and to uh, configure jndi you require a tom, either tomcat or some kind of application server right and uh, using the lookup operation you will have to retrieve these services from the uh, uh, from the middle tire or application or bf server right so and uh, once you configure jndi and using data source you basically look up <coughs> this uh, naming service on the server and uh, uh, if you take connection in that way then your uh, basically connection uh, basically your 
you are you are basically making use of the connection pool right so data source interface is implemented by the driver vendor there are three types of implementation right so this is just an interface so who is the implementer of this interface that depends on your database what database you are using so if you are using mysql then mysql has responsibility to responsibility to implement this interface if you are using oracle then oracle has responsibility to implement this interface and provides uh, implementation of this uh, method which is available in the uh, this interface right so you have a different rdbms right like db2 cybase postgresql so these are the database basically implements this interface and provides his own way to uh, connection uh, to connection pool right so now this basically this data source basically provides uh, three types of implementation first type is basic implementation right produces a standard connection object and this is almost equivalent to the taking connection from the driver manager so that is called basic implementation now second implementation is connection pulling implementation saying that produces a connection object that will automatically participate in connection pulling this implementation works with the mid tier connection pulling manager so basically if you want to implement the connection pool right and uh, in that case you require a middle tag or you require an application or web server they are basically you configure the J, uh, jndi and uh, using the lookup process you retry that jndi and you take connection from the data source right so you require a web server or application server now uh, it's not mean that always you require the application server web server there are some uh, implementer uh, uh, in the market uh, and uh, to configure i mean connection pool even you don't require a uh, application server or web server there and we'll see in next uh, few video series we'll see how to uh, establish connection pool without application or web server like we have a different example like uh, uh, apache dbcp uh, we have a bones bone cp we have a uh, hikari there are different way to create a connection pool without using application or web server now third type of connection is distribution distributed transaction implementation uh, and saying that produces a connection object that may be used for the distributed transactions and almost always participates in the in connection pooling this implementation works with the middle tier transaction manager and almost always with a connection pooling manager so what is basically distributed transaction ma management so you might have heard about the jta uh, that is nothing but java transaction api and that allows application to perform distributed transaction uh, that is that that is transactions that access and update data on two or more network computer resources the jta JTA specifies a standard Java interfaces between a transaction manager and the parties involved in a distributed transaction system. The application server and the resource manager that controls access to the shared resources affected by the transaction. Right? So that's the distributed transaction, right? So if you have you have involved more than one database, right, then you require a distributed transaction. And of course, you require a connection pool over there. Now, data source object has pro properties that can be modified when necessary, right? So, for example, if data source is moved to a different server, the property for uh, the server can be changed. Uh, the benefit is that because that because the data sources properties can be changed, any code accessing that data source does not need to be changed. So basically what I said, this information, database related information, basically you are going to configure on the middle tier or web server or application server, right? So if this information gets changed, then your code is not going to change. Code will be remain as it is. Only database information is going to change and that basically we configure on the server. So driver that is accessed via, via data source object does not register itself with the driver man manager rather data source object is retrieved through the lookup operation and then used to create a connection object with a basic implementation the connection obtained 
through a data source object is identical to the connection obtained through a driver manager facility itself right so these things already uh, we have discussed if you take basic implementation then this is almost equivalent to the taking connection from the driver manager that is that is the thing basically here this documentation pointed out and implementation of data source must include public no r constructor so we have a different implementation so in next video we'll see how to take connection using mysql data source so mysql data source is the, is the one of the implementer of this data source and uh, saying that documentation is saying that so every implementer has to have at least default constructor so that we'll see practically in next example and next thing i would like to discuss uh, basically this class uh, this interface contains two methods right get connection which does not take any argument saying that attempts to establish a connection with the data source that is uh, that this data source object represents right and this method throws a uh, sql exception if while while getting the connection from the database if some problem arises then this will immediately throw sql exception is a checked exception if you have suppose you are if you are setting some timeout right then uh, for if you have set it some timeout like uh, 30 seconds uh, uh, suppose 10 seconds and within the 10 seconds uh, suppose uh, we are not able to take the connection then this will also throw a sql time exception when the driver has uh, determined uh, that the timeout value is specified by the set login timeout uh, method has been exceeded then and uh, has at least tried to cancel the current connection database connection attempt so if you are exceeding the whatever whatever login time that we have set it if you are exceeding from that then this will immediately throw the sql time out exception so this is throwing sql exception as well as sql time exception now this uh, we have another method also is called get connection which is just, just the overloaded method so this method does not take any parameters these two method takes uh, this method takes username and password so so in next video tutorial we are going to see how we can make use of these two methods uh, by using one of the implementer is called mysql data source and uh, to get that implementer he required a mysql connector jar in your class path so i hope you enjoyed learning this video so at least you have high level insight on uh, this interface data source interface so in next next few video series we are going to discuss how we can take connection from data source and uh, to get connection from the data source require its implementer class right so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial with some hands-on experience.